What happens when a wide-body aircraft encounters an emergency shortly after takeoff, leaving no time for fuel dumping and necessitating an overweight landing? Let's figure it out. Every aircraft has a maximum landing weight, a critical threshold that ensures safe deceleration and minimizes stress on the airframe. Wide-body jets, boasting impressive passenger capacity and range, often come equipped with fuel dumping systems. This allows them to shed excess fuel, reducing weight before landing within the maximum landing weight. Several situations can force a wide-body jet to return to the airport immediately after takeoff, demanding a landing above the maximum landing weight. This can be due to, but not limited to, medical emergencies, technical issues, cabin pressure loss, bird strikes, or security threats. In a scenario where an aircraft must land overweight, pilots rely on specific techniques to manage the additional weight. The approach speed is generally higher to maintain control, which necessitates precise handling during touchdown. Pilots aim for a firm landing rather than a soft one to ensure the aircraft's weight is quickly and effectively supported by the landing gear and not prolonged in a floating phase, which could lead to runway overshoot. To aid in deceleration, pilots make full use of the aircraft's braking systems, including maximum deployment of reverse thrust and speed brakes. It is essential to manage the reverse thrust carefully to avoid stress on the aircraft structure. The stopping distance of an aircraft is directly affected by its weight. An overweight aircraft has more inertia and requires a greater distance to come to a complete stop. The use of reverse thrust and brakes must be optimized to handle this increased stopping distance. Pilots also have to be mindful of the runway length and condition. For instance, a wet or icy runway might further impede braking effectiveness and require even more distance for a safe stop. The higher landing speed increases the stress on the tires and brakes, which can lead to higher wear and risk of failure if not managed correctly. Pilots must ensure that the braking is done steadily and evenly to prevent potential blowouts or skidding, and use the brake fans appropriately. After an overweight landing, the aircraft must undergo a thorough inspection to assess any potential damage. This inspection is crucial as the added stress on the aircraft's structure and landing gear can lead to issues that may not be immediately apparent, and this includes the landing gear, the tires and the brakes, the structural integrity, and finally, the engine performance. Whilst overweight landings are rare, these techniques and procedures are combined with extensive crew training to ensure that the aircraft can make a safe and immediate return should it be required.